Hello beautiful people, I'm Raish Phoenix and in today's video we're going to be talking about growing up in a traditional household slash dealing with parents that may not understand you fully or maybe you don't get along with your parents or maybe there's some miscommunication. We're talking about parents. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and go ahead and hit the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. So, um, the way I was grown up was I was definitely grown in a traditional household and traditional to me means that like your parents raise you on chores, they raise you pretty much knowing how to do things in the house <laughs> um like I definitely was taught to vacuum like literally we had a chore day um on Saturdays I would get up early in the morning and I would dust everything and I would vacuum the house um other things would be like my sister would wash the dishes my brother would take out the garbage it was very traditional in terms of teaching us chores and um definitely being told to make your bed before you get out of bed um keep keep your room as clean as possible um pretty much it was just like no mess just don't leave a mess and on top of that like I remember my dad would be like don't slam the door um <laughs> it's like it's like you get out of the car door like you get out of the car and if you slam the door he's like don't slam the door <laughs> like literally it was like anything so it's just like don't make any noise it's like you're coming down the stairs don't make noise um you're pushing in your chair underneath like the dining room table, don't make noise. <laughs> you're closing the fridge door, don't make noise. Um, if you're coughing, go get some juice. Like, <laughs> like it was definitely grown up in a um, traditional household. Um, but pretty much what that made me think about is, um, it's kind of interesting when, when you grow up in a household like that, it like teaches you certain, um, responsibilities and and it teaches you like how to just take care of like household things and like yourself but I feel like there is definitely not as much taught in the department of just like communication and um just believing in yourself or I don't know it's one of those things where it's like I feel it in my in my being what I'm talking about but it's very difficult to describe it's like it just wasn't I wasn't taught the things that I'm learning now um in terms of manifesting yeah I wasn't really taught like how to manifest things I wasn't really taught um the power of the mind um the power or the law of attraction the power of now like the things that I'm taking the time to learn right now like that was never even introduced in any way when I was younger but um it's like now I'm in my mid-20s and like there are moments when you, once you once you reach your mid-20s like there are moments when you start to question like the things you were taught and if it really serves you in a positive way or if this was an opinion that was like passed down to you through t tradition and um I kind of started thinking the other day about like when when you have your parents it's like like you kind of just think of your parents as parents you never really think about or at least for me personally I can say that I don't really think about their life before me um I don't really think about what traumas they may have gone through, what traumas they're still healing from, um, the fact that they're two grown adults and um, they have their own life and whatever they're personally dealing with, but at the same time, they're there to um, be your parents. And it's one of those things where it's just like, regardless of the type of relationship you have with your parents, and also to digress a little bit, like, it's just, I always found it frustrating how, um, how movies kind of depict the way a relationship with your family is or should be, like, it, it's just, like, movies are always going to depict that there's, like, this, I don't know, happy-go-lucky, like, 
oh, you walk in the house and you put your backpack down on the um, kitchen island and there's a peanut butter sandwich waiting for you and your mother's in the kitchen and she turns around and says, hey, honey, how was your day? And you say you have a rough day and she's just like, you know, don't worry, um, I made cookies tonight for you and um, your uncle Fred is coming over and we have a great dinner planned and I don't know, make sure you get your homework done before the dinner. <laughs> like, it's like there's this, um, I don't know, like there, there's this level of everything's okay um, between kids and their parents in movies and it's like, God bless you if your life is like that with your parents. Like, God bless you because, like, I know nothing of that. And, um, it's like a, like, my parents are from Jamaica and I was born here and they moved here and I definitely feel like that cultural, um, separation or shift where it's just like they were growing up a specific way and this is what's normal to them. But then I was growing up here with the traditions they passed down to me, but at the same time, like, there are other traditions that are shown through TV, through the people you hang out with or you're exposed to when you're at school or when you're at work. And um, dealing with that shift and explaining it to people or explaining it to your parents when they were never grown up in that, it's just like, it's like trying to put two negative magnets together and they just not going to happen, you know? And um, yeah, with that, it's like, like, I think it becomes easier to deal with that miscommunication when you just have to be the bigger person and take a second to realize, you know, there are things that they may never really get that you do. Yeah, like, they were just never growing up that way, and I think too much we give energy to what's right and wrong as opposed to what's best for the person. I think that there's kind of, like, this, um, miscommunication or kind of, like, this, I don't know, like, I feel like... I feel like if your parents ever say anything to you along the lines of, well, when I was younger, this isn't what I did, or, um, you know, that's not the way I was raised, I, I feel like there's some level of unhealed trauma, and because they never healed from it, they don't really know how to express that to you as the child, or um, they don't even recognize that it's trauma. I think when you reach your mid-twenties, there just comes a point when you kind of just gotta recognize what resonates with you that has been taught to you and kind of what doesn't. And regardless of if your parents agree with it or not, it's like you really just gotta do what's best for you because if you're truly doing something that serves you in the best way possible and they don't agree with it, like, you gotta live your life for yourself. And on top of that, like, if you're in this situation where you can explain to them, like, what you're doing, um, definitely explain that to them, um, and do the best you can in terms of using, like, loving energy and loving, um, expression. If you're not in a situation where you can express, like, what you're doing, um, and have their support, then build healthy boundaries, you know? I think it's important to recognize, like, like I said, that they have trauma from, I think, I think it's safe to say everybody has trauma. Everybody has something that has emotionally hurt them or has emotionally left some type of wound on them and it affects the way they are and the things that they do. And I think when you're a child and you're looking at your parents, and when I say a child, I don't mean like your infant or like your whatever. I mean, literally when you have your parent, you, um, I think it's very easy to kind of forget those things. It's easy to kind of forget that they had a life before you or they have traumas before you or they have things they're still learning from or healing from. And um, there are certain things where it's just like in their tradition and the way they've been grown up, like that's their truth. And it's not, it's weird to explain it this way. It's not necessarily that it's bad. It's just if it doesn't serve you, let go of that, you know, um, if, if it, if it pains you, like, you feel that in your heart chakra, and your throat chakra, if you feel that in any chakra, and you know, like, whatever they're passing down to you doesn't serve you, you know, just respectfully let go of it, um, 
do what's best for you because you gotta live for yourself, you know? And I think it's important to really, I don't know, like really just think about the fact that like they only know so much. Like when I was younger, I used to think that my older brother, because he's older than me, knew everything that I didn't know. <laughs> and when I got older, I realized that age don't mean shit. <laughs> It doesn't guarantee that somebody knows how to do something better than you. It doesn't guarantee that somebody knows it or is more enlightened on a certain topic as you. It just means that they have more earth years than you. That That's it. They have more earth years than you and that's it. It doesn't mean anything else. And I think it's important to realize that it's like your parents only know so much. And on top of that, I think that there's a lot of unhealthy expectation to really expect your parents to know everything that you need and know everything that you don't know. It's like separate your parent from that thought. Like just think about the fact that you are expecting somebody in your life to know everything that you need when you need it just because of the title they have in your life. Like, that's a lot of pressure to put on a person, and I think that's that's when it, that's when you have to reaffirm with yourself the power that you have. That's when you have to take a step back and be like, you know, I gotta take care of myself. I gotta love myself. I gotta give myself the time and love that I need, and if I can't get that from myself, like, how the hell can I expect that from somebody else, you know? And I think, like, regardless of whatever situation you may be in with your parents, regardless of if you talk to them, you don't talk to them, you keep your distance from them, you only talk to them on holidays, <laughs> whatever it is, um, just know that, like, it's up to you now. It's up to you, and, and I'm talking, like, mid-twenties up. <laughs> it's up to you now. Like, it, it's really up to you to take care of yourself to realize that you're capable of taking care of yourself and to really express with as much love and appreciation to your parents like hey fam I gotta do this and also just be grateful for everything that they've done for you and what they taught you because you know even if you were in a situation where you feel like they didn't teach you anything regard like depending on however you're raised up like of course there are people that have abusive parents there are people that have parents who weren't there there are parent people who have parents in like so many different situations i think it's important to find a way to be grateful and um thankful for what they taught you because here's the thing and that may sound like what like what can an abusive parent teach you or, or what um what can pos what positivity can possibly come out of that so i'm not in a situation like that but um in terms of like drug abuse and stuff like that like i'm not in a situation like that but on the broad scale of let's say um on the broader scale of just dealing with parents that are difficult or don't understand you or you feel misunderstood um think about the fact that whatever they're doing to you chances are their parent did that to them or chances are somewhere in your generation or in your family tree there was a parent that did that to their child and that parent never healed from whatever trauma so now it's passed down to another child now that child is becoming a parent and that parent is passing it down to another child and then eventually that gets down to you and now your parent is doing the same thing that generationally has been done to children in that family and now if you hold on to that trauma and if you hold on to that pain you're another product of passing down pain literally you're living with pain that isn't even yours you know and there's no point in that you know nobody nobody deserves that first of all like if if you are in a situation like that where you're dealing with passed down pain i just want to let you know you're a beautiful human being you deserve better you deserve love you deserve more and um 
it's important to surround yourself with loving energies, people that really appreciate you and love you for who you are as a person, and um, find a way to heal, find a way to set healthy boundaries, find a way to really po prosper in a way that works for you, you know, and um, I think it's so important to recognize that because sometimes when we get caught up in our thoughts and caught up in the things that upset us, uh, upset us and make us angry, we're so deep in what's making us angry that we don't realize that we're dealing with emotions that aren't our own, that we're literally allowing people to pass down energy to us. And um, the best way to heal from that is, like I said, healthy boundaries, um, figure out a relationship that works for you and your parent. Um, in whatever way you define that, even if that relationship means I call you once a year, <laughs> like whatever it is, figure out a healthy um, relationship for you and your parent and just give yourself the love you deserve and, um, you know, just really take the time to realize, like here's something I saw on Instagram. So on Instagram the other day, I saw something and I may have mentioned this in another video, I can't remember, but I'm going to mention it again. I saw something that said, stop asking people for directions to places they've never been. So in terms of whatever trauma your parents may have and maybe subconsciously passing on to you, take the time to recognize that they can't give you directions to places they've never been. They can't They can't teach you things that they haven't discovered for themselves. They can't communicate to you if they never learned themselves how to communicate and like I said the reason why you want to take the time to recognize these things and take the time to really not hold on to stuff like that is because you don't want to become another product of living with pain that's not your own like you have like you're alive you know that is a blessing like you're alive you're here you're on earth and you have an opportunity to live out your dreams you have an opportunity to manifest whatever you want in your life and to think of the fact that what's stopping you is somebody else's pain nah <laughs> like nah like like when you think of it that way or when i think of it that way it's just like i'm never going to allow or I'm going to make sure I check myself and make sure I don't allow somebody else's pain to live with me so that I don't, or like, I would never allow somebody else's pain to stop me from living my dreams. And I feel like that within itself is an affirmation. I am not going to allow somebody else's pain to stop me from living my dreams. I am not going to allow somebody else's pain to stop me from living my dreams. And that is a point in healing and that is a point in surrounding yourself with loving energies and finding a way to be at peace with things because when you hold on to that pain it is stopping you from being the best version of yourself and it's not easy it, it's definitely not easy when in opening this up to a broader scale of maybe just family members not specifically your parents like whenever somebody puts you through something and it hurts you you know, you got to take a moment to really look within and be like, you know, why does this hurt me? And it's like, if there was an expectation that wasn't met, you got to recognize that this person will never expect, will never meet that expectation. And on top of that, expectations really put us in an unhealthy state because we're expecting somebody to know something without even telling them that's what we need or without that being something that's natural for them. Like find people who naturally meet those expectations because when it's natural it's more genuine and when it's more genuine that is going to heal you you know so find a way to really put yourself in a space and around people that reflect what you really want out of your life and um find a way to just always find the peace and the love and the enlightenment and everything because if you can find that in everything Like, literally, that silence, that, that break that you just felt, that's it. That That's it. Like, like, when you find those things in every single moment, that is when you're living your life on a different frequency that is really beneficial for you and is really going to help you be the best version of yourself, regardless of what you're going through. 
And I think it's important to recognize that sometimes there are going to be things in our life that bring us pain. And sometimes we want to find a way to get rid of the pain. But it's like, I think that, you know, like yin and yang, the good and the bad always come up together. And without the pain, we can't recognize the good times. And I think it's very important to really ground yourself in knowing that there's always going to be that balance. And just know that in everything, there's an opportunity for growth. And to always find a way to be the better version of yourself, find a way to be a healthier version of yourself. And you know, it's really up to you, you know? Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope that this helped you in some way if you have difficulty with communicating with your parents or if you have abusive parents or if you have parents that weren't there or whatever your situation may be. I hope in some way like this brought you peace and kind of just recognizing the fact that it's up to you now. Like you can take care of yourself, do the best you can to take care of yourself and also know that, you know, your parents had a life before you, you know, your parents have traumas that they never healed from that maybe they never recognize and there's always more layers to things than I believe we even realize. So I think it's important to really just take the time to dissect what's going on and really find the peace, love, and enlightenment and everything. So with that being said, bless up and until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye guys. <music>